Hey guys, today we're just going to do a quick little video on flat spin recovery. Um, as you can see, we're going to install right now. And typically, a stall on a self will not uh, force you into flat spin, but when you're coming out of a stall, if you just pull a bit back from the stick, it will. So, first things first for prevention is you want to make sure that you're going to gently nose out of a stall if you get into one. But if for some reason that is uncontrollable or you are stuck in a flat spin already, what you're going to do is maybe force a flat spin real quick. As you can see, I'm coming out of the stall and I'm giving it hard back on the stick. And we are coming to a flat spin. So I'm going to let this develop for a couple turns so it's like a good, nice flat spin. Uh, I'm going to come off the power and I'm rotating clockwise. So I want to make sure I apply full aileron left and full rudder hard over to the opposite side of the spin, which in this case is going to be left rudder, left aileron, and nose down. Then as I'm nosing down, I'm going to apply power. And within about one or two rotations, you will get traction back. And once you've got traction, you want to make sure you slowly nose out because, again, if I just pull back on the stick like this, all I'm going to accomplish is I will go into another flat spin. Uh, again, just to make sure, I'm going to throttle back and I'm rotating to the right. So, again, it's going to be a left hard over and left aileron, rudder, and nose down and power up. And as we're powering up, again, within about two or three rotations, we'll get traction back. And even though I'm rapidly approaching the dirt, I don't want to just rip back on the stick. I want to slowly come out of it, that way I can maintain lift. Uh, if you start to nose up and you can see it vibrate like this right here, that probably means you're about to go back into a stall or flat spin. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Happy hunting.